Through JP Catholic's business program, we're forming students to be innovative problem solvers who are prepared to explore a wide variety of careers or create their own companies. Students receive a dynamic education that includes real-world application of ideas, the business launch pad, mentorship from experienced faculty, and an integration of Catholic social teaching. The business program has a jack-of-all-trades mentality where you really learn how to apply business skills to anything. You do have the very broad aspect of just business, but then you're gonna have uh, connections here who are going to help you get into what you want to do specifically. The professors here especially have really helped me zero in on what I wanna do after school. I've only been here for one year, but I felt like if I had to start a business, like right now, I would feel decently prepared. You can pursue whatever you're doing, but you have financial knowledge and you have practical knowledge and marketing knowledge. By preparing students to wear those various hats, we're increasing the chances of their entrepreneurial success by making them better at the different facets, all the different facets of running a company. If a student really likes one of those aspects, if there's something that they're particularly interested in, they have the opportunity to do a series of classes, one after the other, that enables a student to dive really deep so for example, if a student feels called to be a leader or a manager within a company, then they have the opportunity to take a sequence of courses where they're able to learn the ideas of leadership and then we're given a project execution sequence where over two quarters, they're able to plan and execute a project and actually take the ideas that they've learned in the leadership class and apply it to their group as they go through this process. If a student really likes marketing, we have a digital marketing sequence where they can take everything from market research to strategic planning to actually executing what type of work a digital marketing agency will do with real world clients. I had to write a press release for my final in business communications. Then I wrote a press release for my job and I was like, thank God that I had to learn how to write a press release because it's so hands-on that I'm learning this trade of being in a business and communicating in a business and running a business and now I can do it. If a student wants to get involved in sales, we have a great sales sequence where they learn kind of the basic of human psychology as it applies to sales. So they get coached through how do you actually ask somebody for money? And then ultimately they have a sales workshop where they're able to go with a professional sales rep on sales calls to do the prospecting, do the research, craft a script, and then actually make the pitch. And there's no better way to learn sales. We could sit in the classroom and talk for hours, but there's no way that you'll learn sales as well as by actually going out there and doing it with real live sales reps. So the sequence that provides the backbone to our creative entrepreneurship program is our Launchpad sequence. It's a five course sequence that takes you through the three course Launchpad and the two course Incubator, where students are coached and mentored through the process of starting up a business. So ever since I was a child, I wanted to be my own boss. I would like to very much uh, start my own business, actually a family business of land surveyors. In Launchpad 2, I was able to put all my ideas on paper and really establish what it is that I want to create. My Launchpad project is an online dance school and it's gone through a lot of different phases and a lot of different variations, but I'm really confident and excited about it as we move forward, getting ready to launch. These students have a great idea, but they need some money to actualize the idea. Students are given the opportunity to pitch to a panel and ask for a certain amount of money to accomplish certain tasks to get their company rolling. And then that transitions them into the incubator program where they're provided mentorship over the next two quarters of, well, okay, well, you have this money, but what do you need to do? How do you take that money and that idea, fuse them together and turn it into something greater than itself? With that mentorship, we're able to take students from an idea to a profitable company. Well, I've always been uh, partial to small classrooms. I feel like with the large classroom sizes, there's people that get lost to the wayside. It's a smaller class, you're not competing for the attention of the professor. In all of my classes, I've had the teacher come up to me, what are you having personal troubles with? And let me walk you through it. The conversations get really in depth and just very personalized. You get to be very comfortable with your professors and you also see them multiple times. It's not just one class, one professor, and you never see them again. They know you by name. They know all your strengths, all your weaknesses. They know what you like to work on, what you don't like to work on. They're also a sounding board too. Like sometimes you do have the answer and you just need someone to kind of tell you like, yeah, you're on the right track or, you know, let's think about this in a different light. And so having someone there to bounce your ideas off of is really, really important in business. That's why no one can do it alone. 
The integration of faith is fundamental to what we do here. The mission statement is Impact Culture for Christ, and I see that in every single class. We are incorporating our Catholic views, our worldview, morals into the business side. And I think that's really, really important. One big virtue that's talked about in business is integrity. Integrity really does mean, you know, you are integrating your values in everything you do. And so that comes to reflect on a business. My education has framed my worldview to be practical, to be realistic, and also to be optimistic, joyful, and moral. The way we learn here, the way we look at the world, and the way that we prepare to work in the world and be successful in the world is all framed in a Catholic worldview where we teach each other how to be moral and we interact in kind and loving ways that really lean on Christ for strength and morality and virtue. And we know that we can take that into the world because we practice it here. Whether they're working in something explicitly Catholic or any kind of company out there, they're able to take their faith and their values and their principles and have that influence in a significant way their day-to-day -day actions. And in doing so, that's how the business program seeks to impact Culture for Christ.